And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at the third monster pack for King of Tokyo, or King of New York. Uh, this one is Anubis. Now, if you've never seen one of these before, this is the third one. We've already had Godzilla and King Kong. Now we have our first Egyptian pack. If you've seen one of these before, you might think, who cares, another monster? Well, each of these packs includes a monster with power-up cards, so you have another big monster. If you have the expansion uh, power-up for King of Tokyo or, or King of New York, that the makes the game vastly better and you definitely want to play with those so it comes with that but it also comes with a new mechanism that you can use in every game regardless of not whether you use this monster or not i'll show you If you're going to use Anubis, you're going to have to use the Die of Fate. This is an extra die, which is a four-sided die, and four-sided dice don't roll the best, but you'll have to roll it with all the rest of the dice, which means you can re-roll it just like you can re-roll the regular dice, although things that let you change the side of a die don't affect this. So this is a, a die that's going to matter. Now, for this die to work, you'll have this deck of curse cards. So the top card will be revealed at the beginning of the game. When you roll this card, when you roll this die, whatever you end with, if you end with these two little squiggly lines here nothing happens however every curse card has a permanent effect for example here keep cards and permanent evolution cards have no effect so this cancels all those and that will stay in effect as long as you roll this if you roll the uh here the ankh then you get whatever the the thing is here it's always good draw an evolution card or gain three energy if you roll the serpent the snake you will get something and it's always bad. Discard an evolution card from your hand or in play or lose three energy. And if you roll the Eye of Horus, then you simply will discard this and draw a new one. In this case, at the start of each turn, the monster with the most points loses a point. Here the good one gives you two points, and here the bad one, the monsters with the most points lose a point, which actually might not be bad for you. You might want that to happen. Uh, some of the curse cards, like this one here, the Forbidden Library, have the Golden Scarab. This is another card that's included. You can pass this Golden Scarab around occasionally. So here you can take the Golden Scarab. And the bad thing here, discard a keep card. But monsters without the Golden Scarab cannot buy power cards. So you want the Golden Scarab. Here, at the start of your turn, you lose two points. Here, cards cost extra two energy. Here, uh, cancel the curse effect if you roll this. Otherwise, only attack, heal, and energy faces can be used, which is one I like a lot. Here you can take the Golden Scarab. If you don't have the Golden Scarab, you can't use energy. And so there's a lot of little things in here, and these are going to be used even, again, if he's not into play. Now, if Anubis is playing the game and you're playing with the power-up expansion, then you have to use the Curse side because some of his stuff affects it. He comes with cards for both uh, King of New York and King of Tokyo, they're virtually identical, so let's just take a look at one of them here. So he has some t permanent evolutions here. This, if he rolls one attack, he hits everybody. This gives him an extra die, which can't be re-rolled, but still pretty awesome. Here, whenever he rolls uh, the Ankh, he gets two energy. And here, if a monster rolls the snake, they have to pay you one energy. So those are really fun uh, permanent ones, but as temporary ones that might even be cooler. Here you can force someone to leave Tokyo. Here you can make someone wound themselves instead of everybody else. <laughs> I love that one. Here you can play when someone reaches zero. They lose four points and get four health back. You keep them alive and take four of their points. And here, really powerful one. When another monster is eliminated, you get half their points rounded down. Still, if they have like 12, 13, 14, 15 points, this could be huge. So he's a lot of fun to use, despite his very wide stance. There you go, Anubis. I really like this one. In fact, I will go so far to say, of the three monster packs so far, this is my favorite. Not my favorite monster. That's probably King Kong. Oh, or 
Godzilla. I like them both. I like both those monsters better than Anubis. Who cares? But the Cursed Die thing is great. It adds just a little bit of flavor to the game. Gives you an extra die, so you get to roll that with all your other dice. That's fun. Gives you something else to look forward to. Changes minor things, but doesn't change the game dramatically. To the point where I think I'll always play with the Cursed Die. I'll even teach it to new people because it's not a hard thing to add. And it can change things up a little bit. Like, oh, well, I was going to do this, but the Curse is this way. So now I'm going to try this instead. And that Golden Scarab, when that's involved, people are taking that back and forth and trying to get it. It just gives the game a bit more ugh, and I like that. So Anubis, he is a cool monster. Don't get me wrong. I do like his special abilities. Um, I'm not so keen on him as like a, I don't know, a giant Anubis just isn't, isn't that thrilling to me. But cool abilities and I really like this die. So he's a worthy addition to the game. This is definitely one. If you like King of Tokyo and you own nothing else, you should still check this out. It's really neat. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs>